I've been reading comments lately under my videos and people are complaining. Some people are complaining that I should stop talking about religion and talk about politics like how I've started doing with politics and all that before I brought religion issue inside and all that. Listen, we have a problem. When you understand the root cause of the problem, you tackle the problem from there. The problems we have in Africa is from three angles. Geopolitical world, which is the Western influence. Politics in Africa, which is corrupt from the head to the two. And then religion in Africa, which is playing part of the backward movement of Africa. So we can't tackle one part of the problem and leave the rest. We must tackle all. If I talk about politics, those of you on the religious ground, you agree with me. If I talk about religion, because you are part of part of the problem, you get offended. Some of us, we are for Africa. We are not for any religion, any political party, anything. We are just for Africa. So what the problem is, we tackle it from there. I can't talk about one and leave one. Those in the political world, which are partisan, when I talk about politics, they also get offended because they are part of the problem in one angle. If I talk about religion, those who support me in the political world, they got angry because they are also part of the problem in one angle. All of you come out of the nonsense and let us stand for Africa. If you are partisan, you will get offended by my videos because the truth is just one. I don't care how you take it, I'll just have to say it. So it is a problem from three angles. We have external problem, which is from the geopolitical world, the influence from the West on Africa. And we have two internal problems, which we are dealing with politics in Africa and religion in Africa. So you can't tell me which one to deal with and which one to leave. We must tackle all. I am in the business of tackling all. So prepare to accept it. Thank you. This is 100%. Survivor, in fact, um, you are very intelligent. That's why I followed you. That's why I listened to you. You know what? And whatever you said, you know, people, those of you listening to me, take it from my mouth. Consider me telling you whatever survivor told you. Consider something I may catch it up. Some of us, you know, we know the problem of on this continent. We know the problem in our society. We know the, the, the reason why we are where we are as a people. We know it. And I'm glad or I'm happy my bro also know it. Majority of people are talking, but not all of them know the core problem of this continent or this country. And in summary to whatever or uh, all what my bro said, you know, I have classified it as division. You know, we have been divided into various groups. So whoever comes out to speak, whoever comes out to talk, whoever comes out to tell something, all the groups or the people or the citizens or the masses, Every group is expecting whatever you say to go in their favor. Every group, religious groups, when you go to religion, Muslims, Christians, political groups, when you go to politics, part A, part B, geopolitics, when you go to geopolitics, some are in, in, in agreement with whatever the Westerns are doing, some also don't support what the Westerns are doing. So division has brought us to where we are today, and that has, or that will make uniting or Africa coming together or we coming together, that will make it very tough. That will make it very difficult. That is why for, for, for so many years now, Africa has been the continent that has been preaching unity, togetherness, but still we are not able to unite, we are not able to come together. Because the borders, the boundaries, the wall that have been created around us you know, is more to the standard. Today you agree with your brother on maybe your religious ground. And you decide to put your religious differences aside. I, ahead of you, you guys will break up when you get to the political ground. He or she might be in the party. You might, maybe you might say, you know what, I'm not in any of these parties. But he might say, no, me, I'll take it to my party. And for that matter, if you are not going with me, then boom. Then you might, okay, okay, you might, you might, you might understand yourself on a religious background or a, a, a religious or a field. A political field then tribe also comes in a tribe so these are all the wars or the boundaries i call it wars the uh, divisive wars that that is around us that is difficult for one to break today somebody will come and watch your video and it will go in favor of his or her particular association being it part a or part b and he will tell you you are wise you are reasonable you are intelligent Tomorrow you come and watch you and then it won't go in favor of his or her association or his or her party and you say you are a fool, you are an idiot, you don't have a sense. Today you speak about religion and then you speak about Christianity and then the Muslim or the other, other people or others will come and tell you, you are intelligent, you are wise, you are, in fact, you are amazing. Tomorrow you speak about their association and they will come and tell you that you know you are a stupid guy. You know? <laughs> so um, 
what some of us have decided is that whatever we tackle, whatever the issue is, whatever the case is, we will tell you the painful truth is either you accept it or you leave it. We care less about that. Yes, that is one thing I've decided. I've made my mind. I have three groups of people following me. I have Christians who likes me, Christians who hate me. I have Muslims who likes me, Muslims who hate me. Politically, I have NPP followers who likes me, NPP followers who hate me. I have NDC followers who likes me, NDC followers who hate me. So today, when you, are, you, you come to speak or you, you do a video, you put a video there, the person is not looking up or approaching or watching the video with a holistic mindset or with a critical point of view. The person is just waiting if that video will go in favor of his association. So the moment it goes in favor of his association, thumbs up. He shares, he likes, he comments. The moment he doesn't go, hey, he insults you, he attacks you. But I think we can also say because of what we want people to, we want people to be okay with whatever we are saying for that matter, we are going to go their way. No. Until we change or until we, 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 we stop doing the same thing, we will never get the same results. This association and this group have been able to um, 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 win or quell some of the youth that started speaking Critically, they have been able to call them into their corners. But I'm, I'm praying and hopeful some of us, majority of us, will stand and then tackle issues critically, not in favor of somebody. Me, there is no day that I'm, I'm about to do a video that I'm, 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 I'm thinking and then telling myself that I want to do this video to please some portion of my followers. No, I don't care about who you are, even if you are the one who bought me the phone, if you are the one who bought me the laptop, if you are the one who bought me, who gives me money, who do that, who support me, whatever. Or every video that I said to do, you know, I make sure I said this video, I'm tackling the video critically from a realistic and the truth and the honest point of view, not in favor of somebody. So if I'm done with the video and you watch it and it goes in favor of you or if you understand me, fine. If you don't understand, you insult me, I understand that. So, um, um, Survivor, um, it's good you've noticed this, but let's not give up. Let's keep it up, okay? We will get there. There are few that are in, that are intelligent, that are critical thinkers, that approach or watch whatever we put out there and understand from where we are coming from. They are there. But majority are just ninkum poops and just nitwit and just hooligans. They always expect you. I remember a guy wrote under my comment section offer, you know, I'd like to follow you, but if you come, to, if you talk about Christianity, I'm going to come at you. I, I saw that comment and I laughed. <laughs> and it doesn't, it doesn't shake me or it doesn't stop me. I'm going to talk about Christianity. I'm going to talk about Muslim. I'm going to talk about everything that needs to be addressed. So, Survivor, thank you for this. Um, let's keep it up. Let's not give up. You can give up. Okay, bro. Thank you so much. Piao. Follow us on Facebook, Ofayal, the nation's uncle. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, the nation's uncle TV. Follow us on TikTok, the nation's uncle. The nation's uncle gives you the raw truth. Thanks for watching.